Hello friend, it is Amy Tangerine and I am in the studio sharing this plan with me focusing on stickers. As you likely know, I am sticker obsessed and include them in almost all of my paper projects, especially my planners. I thought it would be fun to go over a few of my favorite stickers with you since I often get asked about this. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it and share with your friends who may also be obsessed with stickers and obsessed with making their planners pretty and fun. If you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel. This is Pippi from Pipstick's October Sticker Club Kit. As many of you already know, they are some of my favorite stickers and their monthly subscription brings such happiness and delight to my mailbox each month. I've got a discount code in the description box with a link if you are thinking of joining or giving it as a gift. I've been a loyal subscriber for I think well over five years. Their designs are vibrant and colorful with some of them having foil or some shine to them. There are also matte stickers and I love the variety as it brings about many possibilities. When it comes to planning for me, a lot of it is done for the purpose of memory keeping. So a lot of times I do it after the fact, though at times like today, I will be sharing how I use these to plan a little bit ahead. As you can see, I'm adding pieces here alongside elements that I have already placed. I've been in a very big painting phase, so some of the paint marks that you see are in fact there as a background. The mixed media elements that I'm really into right now are watercolors, acrylic paint, gouache, and then mixing and matching all kinds of things. So while I literally did not see a skunk this day on Thursday, I thought he was cute enough to include. And I also love the fact that I have these random little bits where you don't have to be so, I guess, functional with it. It could be more design or it might trigger a happy response or something funny that happened that you can log. So here I'm just taking a Fudenosuke Tombow, Fudenosuke, and writing down the fact that there were two big games that night. And I also just want to highlight some things that happened throughout the day. Like I said, the stickers don't have to be literal, right? I don't have to be a cat being lazy on Saturday if that's what I was planning on doing. But I really like the fact that there's larger stickers too. This is going into the month of November. So here is actually a different sticker collaboration that I did with the sticker party. I'm not sure if I shared on this channel about this one, but I'm so excited because I want to show you how you can easily use these stickers if you want to you know, relabel your dates, for example. So these are in my handwriting and for you those of you who don't know the sticker party is amazing it's run by a girl named erica and she's based in canada she does ship worldwide as far as i know and she makes her own stickers so it was really fun to collaborate with another female business owner and i love the fact that there are so many of you already using these stickers which i think is really honestly the most fun part even though I enjoy the process of planning or memory keeping really there's so much joy found when I see my handwriting is in your books and the way you are utilizing the designs so it was fun to collaborate with her because she and I joined forces and decided on some colors and also the sayings and there are just different ways that you can use these stickers i covered up where it says notes with that peach coral sticker and then i'm just layering 
whatever feels good to me. Turns out as I'm editing this video, I actually have filled in a little bit more than just these numbers, and I'll show you the results of how it came together. My hope is to uplift and inspire you to use the supplies to get your creative juices flowing. Functional planner stickers are great, and mixing and matching other icons and designs make for a really gratifying experience and combination when it's all said and done. I invite you to check these stickers out and would love to know some of your favorite stickers that you enjoy using as well. Thanks as always for watching, and also let me know in the comments if you snagged either of the Archer and Olive planners for 2023. I'm looking forward to sharing more of the process of how my planner pages come together, as well as flip throughs with you in the near future. You're the best. Happy planning, and as fun as it is to collect stickers, remember, I hope you find the joy in using them too. I've got some really fun things planned for next month, so if you aren't subscribed to our newsletter, please join so you can be the first to hear about the announcements. Link is in the description box. Thanks as always, Fangerines. You're the best.